All right, folks, welcome back to this edition of Against the Ropes. We are in Vineland, Cumberland County. Rich Kenyon is here. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Rich Q on Q. We got a great young amateur boxer, Ernesto Perez. He's got about 21 or so amateur fights, 17 and 4, 152 pound class, 24 years of age from Violin. Also part of a USA Boxing, uh, Ernesto. We appreciate a couple moments. I know you got some serious work in today, and l let's let's go right into your amateur career. It seems like it's really progressing well. Yeah, I um, spent the last four years fighting over on the West Coast. I fought in Washington, Oregon, California, so I've seen a lot of different styles. Coming back to the East Coast, adjusting to guys being on the inside, guys being more slick. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of experience. I've done a lot of traveling, and I just want to get as much experience as I can in the ring. A lot of people say West Coast boxers at times finesse, you know, where at times East Coast boxers bangers, brawlers, like you alluded to on the inside. I mean, is that is that a fair assessment? Would you think uh, that's accurate? Yeah, I would say so. Over on the West Coast, these guys, they're, they're, they're slick. They're throwing big combinations over here on the East Coast. They're on the inside, working the body, blasting up top. But they're talented on both sides of the coast. That's it's sure. good, though, for a young fighter, especially an amateur, because in amateurs, we all know about the scoring system, and it's really touching them up, and it's working the body. So you would suspect 25, 30 fights in your amateur career, you're going to be a heck of a body puncher when you turn pro. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I want to be tested now, get the experience now, so when I go into my pro career, I'm I'm not learning against the ropes. I'm learning in the center of the ring. How long have you been boxing? I've been boxing for about nine years now. Explain to the audience how long it really takes for someone to actually lace them up properly and get in the ring, even, even as an amateur. Oh, I'm learning every single day. Every single day. It's been nine years, and some people pick it up in two weeks, and people pick it up in 20 years. What would be your best attribute as a boxer? Where's your strength? My mind. I'm, I can think in the ring. I can adjust. Like I said, I've seen a lot of styles, so I can adjust. Which is always the mark of a good fighter, especially uh, when you're talking about an 8 or a 10 round fight early on to adjust. If you had a weakness, if you had something that you want to work on, what would it be? I want to work on my all-around boxing skills. I can improve everywhere. There's nothing that I do perfect and I want to get everything perfect. Yeah, orthodox or southpaw? Southpaw. So it's interesting, I was watching you guys spar in there and I did make the comment. I'm surprised there wasn't more head head clashes because it was two, well, two southpaws, we're not going to see that a lot, but a lot of people stay away from southpaws because yeah. you present certain matchup problems, if they move the wrong way, you can lead with that right, have them move to their right, it leads right into your left. So you like being a southpaw? I love being a southpaw, I feel like the first the first round is always mine because they're adjusting to me and I'm landing punches. How, how many more amateur fights would you like to get to close out the year and how about the thought of turning pro? Uh, maybe 10 more fights and then we'll, we'll think about going pro. And when's your next amateur fight? Uh, in about 10 days. Where's it going to be? Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, is that open class? Open the title boxing tournament. Okay. Do you know who your opponent is? Uh, I'm going to be fighting, uh, fighting multiple days. It's open tournament. So, oh yeah. So, so. You're, you're, so it buys in that tournament as well down there, correct? Yes. Okay, all right. It's interesting because when you have those types of tournaments, you really can't get a scouting report, but if you get a buy, maybe one or two fights, and then boom, all of a sudden you're in the championship. Yeah, that's how it works, but only issue is at 152, that's a busy weight class. Mm -hmm. What about Golden Gloves? Thoughts with that? Um, I won the Washington Golden Gloves two years ago, and I couldn't compete last year. And I went to the regionals, Region 8 in Vegas, and I felt I won the fight. The judges didn't. That's so. the amateur. I mean, let's be honest. Amateur scoring is very skewed at times. Um, I think a lot of times the judges, depending if it's USA Boxing, sometimes I've, I've seen amateur fights where it's had two judges and a timekeeper where they're really supposed to have five judges. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's okay to agree with me. <laughs> the yeah, judging... I've the judging can be a little skewed at times. I, uh, you shouldn't leave it to the judges, but when you do, you gotta expect anything to happen. Especially if they're two minute rounds, if they're three, three uh, two minute rounds, um, there's not a lot of margin of error, so to speak. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get in there and you gotta be busy. There's really no time to wait around. So we can expect you to turn pro within a year, you believe? Yes. And how about training down here in South Jersey and Violin? What has it taught you? What have you learned? Uh, well, I only train, I only train and spar with the pros here, so I'm learning every single day. I'm learning where my mistakes are, and I'm. They, if they do something in front of me, I'm like a sponge. I'm gonna steal it. I'm not asking for permission. 
Before I let you get out of here, um, two more quickies. Is there any fighter that you emulate yourself after? Uh, I really look up to Bernard Hopkins just because if you watch him in slow motion, it's like a, watching a computer processing everything the opponent's doing. And you know the beauty, Bernard Hopkins lost his first fight. You know how many amateur fights he fought in? I think he had like two jail, two jail fights. There you go. Zero <laughs> amateur fights. Uh, if you're on social media, if you want to give any plugs, any shout outs, go ahead. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Tito Perez 856 and uh, I'm also on Facebook at Tito Perez facebook.com. All right, there you have it. Mucho gusto. Gracias por tu tiempo. The best of luck and we will uh, see what happens in 10 days and certainly talk again. Thank you.